Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, bottom left-hand corner. We have Raz starting as the yellow Protoss, bottom right-hand corner. We have Artosis starting as the orange Terran. I'm actually really wanting to see Raz go up against Machine, because whenever Raz plays Machine, the games are absolutely epic. Absolutely incredible. Kind of curious where Raz's MMR is these days. He had a pretty good run in BSL. Actually did some BSL commentary, if you guys did not already see it. He is one of those guys that... I think he... He can go pretty deep. I think he's an intelligent player. I think he surprises people is what it comes down to. I don't think you can underestimate Raz because otherwise he will take games off of you. Artosis, of course, has his frustrations versus Protoss, but honestly, his versus Protoss is not that bad. Not that bad at all. Although I know that it is by far his least favorite matchup. Pylon dropping along that edge. I do think Raz is one of those guys who on occasion will opt for early Reaver play. Although, with his early Reaver play, I feel like it is more defensive in nature than offensive in nature. So, as far as the playstyle lining, at least that's uh, where I remember him being last time I saw him in matches. So, it is possible that the playstyle will just line up for Artosis here, where Raz is going to play, be much less aggressive with er early Robo play. I know Artosis just sometimes gets extremely frustrated and on occasion completely falls apart. Like in the instance with Snow, uh, against really solid opening Reaver play, which I think he's got a... I'm not sure if this match will be on YouTube in time or maybe it'll be exactly on time. But this weekend there is going to be a show match between Bonneth and Artosis, and I think Artosis has his work cut out for him in that particular matchup. I'm wondering if he has some... because Bonneth loves those... His, he can oftentimes live and die by his early game Reaver Harass. Raz checking the third base here at the 12 o'clock location, finding nothing, and is now going to make his way down to the bottom right. We do have a gas being taken by Artosis. The speed of this gas, I'm curious if he's going to go for a two-factory play. Cybernetic score dropping in, probe making its way bottom right. Artosis is going to get first scout. Interior. There is an initial Zealot being produced in a pylon along that corner edge. Zealot initially looking like it wanted to take a swag at that SCV, but backing out otherwise. Oops. What happened there? Clicked off vision. Bit of a misclick. Only a single SCV on gas, though. Factory in production. Marine letting the probe through. That probe is going to be able to wander up. But yeah, it's only, again, only going to see that single SCV on gas. And I'm wondering what he's going to make of that. Whether he's expecting, okay, is this going to be a... Is this just to get additional gas to get faster? Base upgrades, probe pinned to that corner. First factory in, Zealot now marching in. Going to get some shots as those marines went to the far north. The three marines and SCV are going to be plenty to push that back. SCV is going to go ahead and draw back as that first Dragoon taking the field. No skip range. Going to be the standard range upgrade, and we do have the additional pylon in the base for Raz. So first Vulture being produced with those Marines. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about this. As far as... Uh, I don't think that's a mistake. As far as composition, SCV is going to be able to swing back around. I think he wants to check whether the actual expansion is being grabbed after one gain. It looks like it is going to be a one gate into expand grab. The Dragoon taking a bit of fire, wanting to catch that vulture. Five marines. This is actually a decent pressure attack force, kind of a hybrid thing to push things back, but does need to disengage before that second Dragoon's out. SCV able to confirm that that natural expansion has not yet been grabbed, but is going to be able to see this probe as it sneaks out. And is he going to drop an eBay? Something along those lines? At least able to engage that probe in mortal combat before the Dragoons come in, steal all the glory. Natural expansion up. Artosis is going to get the better end of that bargain, though. Vulture pulled back to get repaired. Machine shot being dropped. Engineering bay being built as well. Again, in potential, in potential anticipation over robotics facility play. One gate robo is going to be the follow-up. So proper anticipation there. And I like the Vulture actually kind of sneaking out towards where there might be... This is this shows you Artosis, like those crafty Protoss, occasionally try to sneak quick thirds, so I'm going to position that Vulture out to anticipate and engage. 
And upon seeing nothing, is going to go ahead and maybe make a shot towards the natural. I think wants to make confirm that there was no cancellation. I think with that spot, seeing that pylon in the front, does get the information he's looking for. Raz finally walking up to get that free damage on the bunker that all Protoss players love. Steech check up. No turrets being built as of yet. Is no need. That was a very early engineering bay, actually. Wondering if they were, it was to respect potential DT play. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a missile turret on the front. Respect to Dark Templar uh, follow-up. Second gateway being plopped down, and we do see an observatory first for Raz. So Raz playing very conservatively here. No additional factory from Artosis as of yet. <clears throat> so also playing it a little bit thin, and I'm wondering if he's going to stick to two factories and go for more uh, three-factory play overall and try to get a faster third to press the economic advantage over Raz. First observer being planted. I think Raz starting to stake out a claim to grab that third base in the upper left-hand corner. Vulture trying to sneak again, looking to make sure that hunting for that third and that timing. Engineering Bay floating towards just to scout. One thing Raz has had a lot of success with in the past against Terran in particular is getting a large Dragoon Force to go ahead and crash down, particularly on Neo Sulfur, to crash down on that third. Probe is picked off, but not before that Nexus is dropped. So I'm curious if he's going to go for a sizable gateway flood to turn around. Get He is getting a robotics facility to get a Reaver out. But again, it feels more defensive in nature. But I'm wondering if he's going to also try to spot, push towards a third, and push in a, a large Dragoon Force to play from there. Observer going to be able to go ahead and push in. I think, yeah, it's going to be able to shoot that gap without even being detected. Well, detected in the fact that the shimmer's there, probably. But seeing the double machine shop, double factory. Three sea shanks in the front, and Artosis looking like he wants to go ahead and start staging forward already. So three sea shanks bowling those dragoons back. Not much of an attack force for Raz. He's actually even in supply overall. Might want to get... So getting shuttle speed, so it looks like he does want to go for some form of delayed harass. I'm wondering if he's going to go for that pseudo-modern meta where you use shuttles instead of arbiters to deal with your enemy. Observer seeing a third and fourth factory being added on. So Artosa is going for the hybrid position where he can either get aggressive or he can go ahead and play for a delayed third. I have a feeling he will play more towards that delayed third style, particularly the way he's positioning forward. I think he's looking to see whether Raz goes for a gateway flood to provide, uh, provide prov uh, pressure around that third or not. Additional siege tanks starting to angle forward a little bit. <clears throat> Probes also transferring for Raz, but critically right at the moment, Raz has not opened up the 15 or so supply lead that you'd really hope for from Protoss, and maybe Artosis is going to get... Well, yeah, I, I think maybe he is going to get aggressive here. As going ahead and taking out that bunker on the front, and I take that back, immediately taking out that bunker and dropping that command center. I think away from the observer. So rather than building the command center on the low ground here and floating it out, he wants to go for the lower command center position here at the 6 o'clock location across that bridge. Slightly more defensible. Shuttle making its way in just before turrets are there. Siege tanks and marines, however, engaging. Now shuttle speed there as well. Let's see what Raz can get out of this. One SCV dying along that line, but not able to get much else. Cycling back around. There are marines to the low ground. Raz, yeah, trying to push position here. And now the Dragoons, honestly a little bit delayed, starting to pick away at the siege tanks as a lot of troops have been drawn back to deal with that reaver. So now, trying to play, yeah, pressure both directions for Artosis, saying, okay, if you draw your troops back, my Reaver's going to go in your base. If you try to take your third, my Dragoons are going to stop you. Four gateways behind this, by the way. Second Reaver is there, and we do start, we're starting to see, ooh, movements towards a fleet beacon. So Raz trying to do it all. So he really needs to keep this shuttle alive. Goliath right there to keep Artosis back, because 
Looks like he wants to grab a fourth as well. So between trying to tech up, between trying to grab a fourth, and honestly being within, not having the supply lead he should really want at this stage, he really needs to rely on Artosis to grab that third and not go for any sort of pressure attack to follow things up. So that he can go ahead and establish some additional tech out there. Ooh, some idle probes here as well. Compsat's being dropped from Artosis. Maybe to try to spot that shuttle. Ooh, that shuttle just with a sliver of health. Let's go ahead. On that corner, Goliath's posted to the south. Other thing for Raz with this build is this also did provoke some Goliath construction. Two additional factories being dropped to make that count to six. Artosis not yet floating that command center to grab his third. Shuttle moving out, Dragoon's moving out. The Observer has been evicted, so it's not seeing this additional factory grab. Now that command center is starting to move out. Weaver drops, gets a shot, does pick off a siege tank. Drawing those troops back, very patient there by Raz. So this is the second shuttle, so now he's got, loses the Reaver, however. Still might be able to do, that was kind of an interesting little thing with those siege tanks. Might be able to do some sort of bombs to the south, but honestly, I don't think he can really contest the six yet. Artos is being very careful with this though, just floating that command center as a hovering detection threat. And a seventh factory dropping. Looks like I missed, oh, a Wraith produced, able to get the one kill on that shuttle over that edge. So now Raz is at four bases. He's in the middle of a carrier tech switch. Artosis looks like he is going to move out to go ahead and grab his third base, plus one weapons there. Second armory being dropped. And I think this is fortunate for Raz, and he might be able to get those carriers out. Because otherwise, honestly, I would be a little bit concerned about Artosis making moves and uh, being able to take out a base or two. Just Dragoons defending mid-map at this stage. Another shuttle moving out with Double Reaver, maybe to get something done. There are, well, there's a good amount of anti-air here. Observer is keeping an eye on that forward attack force. Does the shuttle, is it able to even drop the Reavers out? No! That was a huge loss. Another command center being built, so Artosis, rather than going... For the timing attack, plus two weapons, plus one armor, also Raz uh, supply capping himself here, is going to opt to instead maybe grab a fourth. In fact, it looks like he might even expand into Raz, as he's got an SCV stage nearby. Raz starting to move out with his Dragoons. No, no weapons upgrades at all, no Arbiter support, keep in mind, and he doesn't have Zelt leg speed as well. So he's going to have to do it with just pure range. And Artosis is moving out. I think Raz was anticipating... Potentially Artosis making moves to grab that fourth, but he's being shoved back summarily. Doing a pretty good job with this engagement, trailing back, able to pick off a lot of those vultures on retreat and stay out of siege tank range. So getting pretty good value out of this, losing a few Dragoons here and there, but yeah, he doesn't have a sufficient attack force to engage this heads up, so he just needs to back out, particularly without Zealot Leg Speed. Carrier fleet is growing. I think upon not seeing that Zealot Leg Speed, Artosis has to be puzzled and has to be expecting Rapid Carriers now starting to barrel forward. Curious if he's going to attack that fourth or that third, potentially. Looking to see if there's Goliaths in production here. We do see a at least two Goliaths to mix into this attack force. Plus one weapons there. And Artosa is starting to make movements towards that natural expansion. I think he realizes he's got Raz. But Raz surging to a 30 supply lead as the Carriers are engaging those siege tanks from the south. However, with just four carriers, that isn't going to be sufficient to deal with the near full control group of Goliaths. And there's just not yet enough open ground to potentially make it work. The Dragoon's looking for a backstab, potentially. Siege Shank's now engaging that natural expansion. So Raz needs to cycle back around and get these carriers back to work. It looks like he maybe wants to engage an attack from the rear to open this up. The Zealot still, with, wow, even without leg speed, able to get at least in front of those siege tanks. So cutting off reinforcements. In the red. Oof. Moving that carrier out before it was ready. So going to lose one for free. And this just feels like a little bit of uh, execution errors now for Raz. Command center floating out to grab that fourth for Artosis as he's sieging the natural expansion. I think Artosis has got to love this. So there's an attack force to blockade, but nothing 
to deal with Artosis just pile driving to that natural. Raz, I think realizing he's not going to be able to save it, just trying to retreat and grab additional expansions where he can. He's going to end up losing his fourth and his natural. Going to be extremely economically behind. Let's see if this command center gets picked off. Yeah, that command center needs to run and hide. That was very ambitious of Artosis to try to expand into Raz in that regard. Now that command center has been spotted. Turrets, Goliath, Siege Tanks, pinning Raz in. Raz desperately trying to take that inside 12. The Goliath, some SCVs, and those Siege Tanks now going to reposition and just take out what bases remain. Cannons being dropped to try to buy some time. Carriers have grouped up with those Dragoons, but this is a beleaguered force, and they're going up against now level 2 weapons, and Goliath on the rear. See if I can pick out an Interceptor. Plus one weapons is there for the Interceptor. Some Vultures swaying the way across, eating a lot of fire. But that is going to keep them off the Goliaths. So another carrier goes down. Five carriers now in the air. The Siege Tank's making short work of those cannons. From the low ground, as Vultures are starting to steamroll their way in. And it looks like Artosis has this all but one. But, as I say that, the Goliaths have been wiped out. So now it's going to be a race to see how many probes get preserved as the carriers are starting to clean up the siege tanks. Artos is still with a sizable supply lead. Dragoon's positioning again to the south to maybe cut off reinforcements and actually it looks like going to reveal that the SCVs were going to try to sneak that fourth. I don't know why Artos isn't just grabbing his fourth at that inside three, which is much more defensible for him at this stage. The carrier is able to save at least a probe. Next has been redropped at that third. Raz still is going to play a lot of catch up here, but at least he has some uh, carriers out here. Ooh, probes. Not a lot of probes for Raz, and that number is continuing to dwindle. Now at 20, as the Vulture is able to catch that probe transfer, and that was huge. That is going to really stymie Raz's ability. So Artosis with a huge bank, a little bit gas starved. Still hasn't made motions to that fourth. Raz starting to position that direction. Cannon going to clear out these mines as Raz trying to remine or trying to re <laughs> re resource gather at that location. Vulture sneaking back out and now a huge amount of Goliaths. Plus two weapons, plus one armor now. And a good amount of siege tanks as well. Making the way mid map. Here's the thing, Artosis doesn't even need to engage this. He can go ahead and allow these bases to roll and just wipe out everything at the main, and I don't know that Raz can engage heads up. Instead, Artosis finally going to give up on expanding into Raz. And he's going to go ahead and grab his fourth at the inside three, and that, honestly, all the shenanigans about uh, around that delayed it significantly. Raz's economy absolutely bad. It looks like he uh, canceled the command center at the 4th. I don't know if they got spotted or not. Artosis with a huge supply lead. Zealot's patrolling just to make sure. Raz <laughs> trying to check and make sure that no additional base has been snuck. Might try to grab this high ground plateau expansion himself. Although it's a risky take. Zealot finds that attack force and gets wiped out immediately. Raz has managed to grow that carrier count pretty significantly. Plus one armor is there. Still only plus one weapons. That will help against the Goliath's plus two weapons, but the upgrade advantage is in Artosis' favor. A huge amount of turrets to buy time to the south. Everything repositioning. And this is one of those things where Artosis could close out the match, but I think he's just going to do the uh, get ahead, further ahead style and just continue to expand, continue to swat these carriers and not get overly ambitious at any corner. Happy to let his Goliaths swat down interceptors. The sea shanks underneath take care of all the Goliaths to allow the Goliaths to just pin in the rest of what's there. Raz, honestly, I will also say, might want a GG at this stage because he's not in a strong position. Half the supply of Artosis. But oftentimes, Protoss will stay in the match as long as carriers remain a threat on the field just because they are a very powerful unit. 
I say as one of them explodes. Vulture sneaking across. Gonna be able to remine. Actually, it looks like they're gonna explore. Gonna take out that cannon. I think they're still trying to... So I think that mine can see a little bit of the resource gathering there to the north. More reinforcements gathering up for Atosis. Actually, the carry is doing a pretty good job of whittling down, so 30 supply drop pretty rapidly for Atosis. And I will say his main is mined out. His natural expansion has gone as well. So Artosis is at two bases. So in theory, if Raz can establish a third base and get up and rolling again, he'll be at a, a conceptual advantage. Put it that way. So he's got two bases rolling. His resources are still trickling in. He's got half the worker count. And we'll see if... Uh, I'm also wondering if Artosis is going to go ahead... And, yeah, he's going to go ahead and grab that Pure 3 as well. Mines in between. Oof, taking out Dragoons as they're making the way. Vulture's on the hunt. Going to obliterate them as they're fielded. And this can't be a happy sight for Raz. Full control group of Siege Shanks and Goliaths in tow. Now making their way towards that inside 12... Vulture is also engaging the gateways. Carriers are going to try to draw this back. They're going to at least be able to pick out that 3 o'clock. But it might be able to get some infrastructure damage here. The Goliaths are just going to split off. The Siege Shanks are going to continue. There's just not sufficient defense for Raz to stop his economy from getting obliterated here. 3 o'clock base gets wiped out. Sortosis is down to one mining base. It looks like he had another command center that he was planning on floating out here. I'm not sure if that was a side thought or not, but the Vulture's going to be able to take out the robotic support bay. That's got to feel good for Atosis. <clears throat> and honestly, it will take longer for these carriers to shoot through the base than it will for Artosis to wipe out absolutely everything else. So that Nexus is going to go down. The probe's going to get wiped out. Eight probes left for Raz. Still hanging in it because of distance mining now. SCV scattering. Sometimes I wonder if, like, the SCVs are, like, the prison inmates of the... Like, what's going on? What motivates them? Or maybe they're just really dedicated to their craft, where they're like, Nope, we're gonna keep mining. The war is won. We only have a rogue carrier fleet of the evil Protoss army out there, but... We're gonna barrel our heads down, risk our lives, keep the resources... Coming. Sea Shanks now making their way into Raz's base. Raz trying to grab that 12 o'clock. That's been immediately spotted by vultures. <laughs> and yeah, Raz needs to GG at this stage. He is out of it. Sub 200 minerals. Sea Shanks obliterating everything. One carrier might be able to actually deal with a good amount of this, but not before he loses an immense amount of infrastructure. Something. No, okay, the vulture's still there. For a second there, it wasn't showing up on the minimap. The Goliaths with level 3 weapons, continuing to hunt down these carriers, some getting on the high ground, so it's not going to be long. And usually losing yeah, your carrier fleet, that tends to be the ultimate GG moment. Raz just trying to get, I think maybe trying to stack up the points for the score screen at this stage. But Interceptor is getting obliterated out of the air. Artosis, if he had Artosis's bank, he could rebuild them. But Raz running out of resources to even rebuild Interceptors here momentarily. I'm kind of curious who will win. The Fleet Beacon here? Oh, no, not. Now he's just going to go ahead and siege that up. So Fleet Beacon should be gone before the siege tanks are. There's GG from Raz. And with that, we move on to the next match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.